मैं जितना ज्यादा ट्रैवल करती हूँ उतना ज्यादा रियलाइज करती हूँ दैट देर इज नो प्लेस इन द वर्ल्ड एज कल्चरली रिच एज इंडिया and if there is one place that is known for its cultural religious and historic significance the jagannath puri temple in odisha definitely tops that list main kuch hi mahino pehle yahan aayi thi rath yatra ke liye and from then to now this place has been transformed completely सुबह के चार बजे हैं एंड आई एम हियर टू मीट द फाइटी चेयरमैन मिस्टर पांडियन हु रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट दिस ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन अब आप सोचेंगे सुबह के चार बजे क्यों वेल आर मैन हियर लाइक्स टू स्टार्ट हिज डे अर्ली सो वाइल ही इज इंस्पेक्टिंग द टेम्पल आई एम गोन बी शेडोइंग हिम एंड टेलिंग यू अबाउट ऑल द इनक्रेडिबल चेंजेस दैट आर हैपनिंग एट द टेम्पल सो लेट्स गो एंड मीट हिम Jagannath, uh, good morning. It's morning. very early for me, but you seem to be a regular here. <laughs> at this yeah, hour. we start our walk in Brahma Muhurtam. Okay. It's good to start walk in <laughs> early in the morning. You are not disturbed. You can focus on work. Yes, and there's a lot of work that is happening yeah. with the Mandir Parikrama project. So we'll go. Yes. Pray and then go for the Parikrama project. We'll okay. take a look. Come, so let's come. go for the yeah. darshan. सेंचुरी में बिल्ड किया गया ओडिशा का जगन्नाथपुरी टेंपल भारत का सबसे पुराना और मान्यता वाला मंदिर है यहाँ के मेन टेंपल का स्ट्रक्चर कालिंगा आर्किटेक्चर में कंस्ट्रक्ट किया गया है विद हाइट ऑफ 65 मीटर्स प्लेस्ड ऑन एलिवेटेड प्लेटफॉर्म यहाँ दिन में करीब तीस हजार श्रद्धालु आते हैं एंड इट इज बिलीव दैट ऑन स्पेशियस ओकेशन ये नंबर तीन लाख डिवोटीज तक जाता है ऑन अ सिंगल डे The holy wall surrounding the temple, जिसे मेघनाथ प्राचीरी भी कहा जाता है, was covered by shops, lodges, hotels that wouldn't allow pilgrims to do parikrama or offer peaceful prayers. और इसी इशू को एड्रेस करने के लिए चेयरमैन ऑफ फाइव टीस मिस्टर पांडियन अंडर द लीडरशिप ऑफ ओडिशा चीफ मिनिस्टर नवीन पटनायक ने भारत के सबसे पवित्र स्थान को ट्रांसफॉर्म करने का निर्णय लिया. You see Sri Mandir. Yes. And uh, this used to be a main road of the town oh okay so now you are seeing the road on almost 75 meters away yes previously the road used to go from here okay so all surrounding the temple the road is very close to the meghnath pacheri right this compound correct so oh, if i can show you this side yeah. you can see this is the kind of uh, this is a small skyline you see the houses yes That those houses were yeah, actually here. 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 Oh my God! Okay. And it will be like four, four story, six story houses all hmm. surrounding. So now yeah. everything is removed, and you got the space up to there. Even the access to the temple was through narrow by lanes of Puri, which was full of traffic, congestion, commercial activities, and crowd. Devotee comes here to get peace yeah. and have little spiritual experience, yes. blissful experience. Absolutely. So, the honourable CM decided. that we will do a parikrama project which will give the pilgrims a divine experience looking at the temple they should be able to walk all all around a beautiful 75 meter corridor is being constructed around the temple that will be equipped with baggage screening facility cloak room for keeping belongings drinking water toilet facilities shelter pavilions multi level car parking dedicated shuttle emergency lane souvenir shops amongst many other facilities many people come just to have a experience of the flag changing yeah earlier only inside the temple they used to stand in hmm. a cramped accommodation and yeah. look at the uh, flag change because yeah. all surrounding was uh, traffic yeah. here we used to have huge lodges and hotels here Okay. Now you have the amphitheater. The advantage yeah. of having this amphitheater here is, yeah, you can watch the flag uh, uh, changing ritual sitting right. from this amphitheater very peacefully. <laughs> no traffic, no sounds. You can just pray and uh, surrender and watch the flag the changing flag ritual. Change. Yeah. Wow, wow. So that's how the facilities have come up. There have been viewing spaces created for the Rath Yatra and for the most auspicious ritual of Sona Base. 
So lakhs and lakhs of pilgrims used to come, devotees used to come to have lots that darshan of uh, Sunavis. The problem was that um, we had a very small circular area there because a lot of commercial establishments were there. Hardly 3,000, 4,000 people can move around in that place. Yeah. Now after we removed all the space, all the commercial establishments, now almost 40, 50,000 people can stand and watch the Lord in His full glory and surrender. Wow. So it will be a great experience. <laughs> One of the biggest challenges was to acquire the 75 meters of land radius around the temple. It's not just about commercial, hmm. it's also a spiritual connect. Right. People who have stayed here for hundreds of years, yeah. they want to look at the temple and yes. then get up, do every activity based on looking at the temple. So it was an emotional bond they were having with this place more than the commercial bond. So out of love for the Lord, yeah. they decided that they will sacrifice the land or donate the land. Even though it was acquired, paying money, yeah. the Honorable CM always used the line, word, they donated the land. Because of love for Lord, they did that. Whatever amount of monetary con uh, compensation you give, it won't be enough, adequate. That's true. Designed by the Sri Jagannath Puri administration, headed by Puri King Gajapati Dev, this divine experience is expected to be ready by January 2024. Stone which is being used here is all hmm. candolite stone, hmm. which is used for temple construction, the original temple construction, oh, and okay. it is full of Odisan architecture. Okay. In fact, in this state, in hmm. every panchayat, the Jagannath temple is getting repaired, restored. We will be having like 10,000 temples getting restored. 10,000 yeah, temples? 10 temples. Wow, you are even... seeing Sri Mandir <laughs> like this in every village, every panchayat, temples are getting restored. Yes. Saying that it's not only temples the Honorable Chief Minister is restoring, yes. he is also restoring churches and mosques and Gurudwaras. Everything. Oh. Yeah. There's also a one and a half kilometer long and 60 meters wide Sri Setu road being built. That would allow vehicles coming from Bhubaneswar and Brahmagiri to reach the Jagannath Walla parking spot near the temple. Ye Odisha ka sabse pehla Trumpet Bridge hoga, which is expected to be ready in a few months from now. This is called the Jagannath Balo Pilgrim Center. Okay. A huge parking facility is coming up here. Hmm. In addition to that, there is going to be a convention center in the top. Okay. This is the Sri Setu. Okay. Earlier, people used to take the other road, hmm. which crosses almost half of Puri okay. and reaches uh, Bada Danda. Hmm. And then inside the traffic, they have to go and reach the Sri Mandir. Right. Now, this Sri Setu is being made, which right. bypasses all the traffic congested, mm. congested portions. Mm. You come directly here, mm. park your vehicle here, mm. freshen up, and then from here, we uh, a new road is being made. Right. So this road, mm. you'll have battery operated vehicles. If somebody wants to walk, they can walk, or a battery operated vehicle. In 800 meters, they'll be in the temple. So it's completely bypassing the uh, traffic okay. and congestion and marketplace. <laughs> if you want to just go to the temple, you can do it here. So earlier they used to take about 30-35 minutes crossing the uh, uh, main road and coming to the temple. Yeah. Now in 10-12 minutes they can reach. Yes. So along with the strong belief that a lot of people have about uh, Lord Jagannath, there's also about the Mahaprasad yeah. and uh, Lord's routine of his own, when he eats, what he eats. I would love to know more about that. Ours is a food platform. I know. So <laughs> would love so, to know as more. As you know that um, <laughs> the Lord uh, has bought in, uh, he bathes in uh, Rameshwaram. Okay. And then <laughs> he has food in uh, Sri Mandir, Puri. Okay. And then he rests in uh, Dwaraka. Okay. That is the hmm. faith people have. So this place is food place. Okay. So the Lord has food uh, <laughs> how many times? Six times in a day. Okay. And uh, the main prasad, the Maha Prasad, is called Chapan Bog. Okay. It has 56 items. And these items are dynamic in nature. Hmm. They keep changing with the seasons. Okay. You know, he is like a uh, living God. Right. So in winter, he'll have something else. In summer, he'll have that pokala bath. Okay. Uh, which is that fermented rice, hmm. you know, which cools down uh, people. Okay. Uh, this part of uh, India, many people have pokala bath. Yeah. So 
that is also a dish which he relishes wow it sounds really really good and i am a tad bit hungry yeah. and i would love to try the mahaprasad yeah let's go so, and have mahaprasad okay. looking at the shri mandir sure yeah. this is tulasi okay. of lord jagannath okay so we jump it We are very lucky to have Mahaprasad. It's my first time, but is this something that all the devotees who come get this? I will change the word luck to blessing. Okay. <laughs> People think it's a blessing of Janam Janam ka to have uh, Mahaprasad. Mahaprasad. Yeah. So when the prasad is offered to Bimala Parvati, then it becomes Mahaprasad. So she asks for a boon. Yeah. That it should not only be offered to me; it should be available to all the. devotees who come with faith to you so yes. that's how mahaprasad has become available to everyone this is a legend wow okay, okay let's do that yeah <laughs> jai jagannath jai. the kitchen here in shri mandir mm -hmm. they say that how many ever devotees come that much food is available always nobody never, goes hungry and it also never goes waste absolutely it no it never goes waste, waste so that is the blessing of lord yeah what are your favorite typical odia dishes that you love to binge on i like pokora bato Okay, pakora bath. Okay. It's rice hmm. which is fermented overnight. The rice becomes very soft in the morning. Okay. And the water also becomes like little more white. Okay. It tastes really good. Yeah. And for summers it's really good. Yeah. And you don't have to have probiotic or prebiotic. <laughs> so <laughs> if you have pakora bath. Oh, so that way it okay. is good. Yeah. <laughs> I studied in sports school. Hmm. I was trained to be a professional athlete. So I used to run 800 meters and 1500 meters. So from that time, mm -hmm. my food habits are little systematic, regulated, you may say. So every day in the morning, I have a good run in the morning. Go to the track or in the road, do about 40 minutes of run. Yeah. And then weekly twice rice gym. So it it takes care of the. Yeah, part, yeah, yeah. But that is important, right? And I yeah. think that's a big message going out. You've been such a role model. People should also follow that. Well, I'm really enjoying this prasad, and I have some questions for you. Yeah. I'm going to give you a few food choices. You've got to choose one. Right. Okay. This game, the game is called this or that. Okay. Okay. So tell me, do you like pakhala or dalma? Pakhala is my favorite dish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you did mention about and that. And also our honorable chief ministers. Is Whenever it? guests yeah. come from outside, he'll yeah. feed them pakhala, and they are so happy, contented with pakhala. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chenna poda or rasagulla? Chenna poda. Okay. And Rasagulla also, of course, it's linked to Lord uh, Jagannath. Okay. You know that uh, Ratyatra happens. Yes. After that, the Lord comes back. Yeah. With his siblings to the Singadwar. Yeah. So here, uh, Ma Lakshmi closes the entry. Yeah. She won't allow him. She is upset with him, with okay. the Lord. Okay. So then he he goes and feeds uh, presents her uh, Rasagulla, and then she eats and she changes her mind and allows him inside. So Rasagulla was always part of the Jagannath Sanskriti. Oh, <laughs> Jagannath okay. Sanskriti. <laughs> All right. So the Rasagulla here must be really special, absolutely, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So before I leave, Pune, yeah, you should taste the Rasagulla. I will definitely Rasugula. try the Rasagulla. Okay. Bhindi baja or bengan bhatta? Bhindi baja. Okay. Kanika or khaja? Both. I like both. Kanika is a sweet rice, no? Yeah. Okay. Chola bara or bara? Bara. Gupchup or dahi bada? Dahi bada. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah I is. am a very pani puri person. Gupchup is pani puri, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, Odisha's dahi bada, if you have, yeah. I think you may shift your choice to dahi bada. <laughs> dahi bada. Yeah, I've heard it's really yeah, good. It's yeah, it's one of the popular dishes. And then um, you must have heard about katak ka alu dum and dahi bada. It's really tasty. Yeah. People go there just to have it. Okay, I have lots of things on my list now okay. before I go. <laughs> okay. Uh kheer or channa kheeri? Channa kheeri. Dal khichdi or besan bara? Dal khichdi. Dal khichdi. Yeah, yeah, it's very okay. tasty. 
Is this what we are having? This is the moong dal khichdi. Yeah, yeah, it's a moong dal khichdi. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, great. And in terms of places to see in Odisha, which are some of the most beautiful places that one must see? So, Konark is there. Hmm. It's called Black Pagoda. Right. That's beautiful. Okay. Then nearby you have uh, the Chilka Lake. It's a Ramsar site mm -hmm. where you have dolphins. You'll be able to spot dolphins. Really? Yeah. So it's a triangle here. Hmm. Or you can go to Chilka. Hmm. You can have a boat ride. You can stay inside Chilka. You can uh, see dolphins. And then this side you will see the Black Pagoda, the Konak Temple, the great architectural marvel of India. Yeah. Perhaps Asia. Right. And then Sri Mandir is there. Right. Where you can spend a lot of time. Puri Beach is also beautiful. Yes. And it has been recently awarded as the Blue Flag <coughs> Beach. Yes. And you have a lot of uh, joints here where you can have great food. Yeah. Traditional Odia cuisine. There are some typical cuisine you can have here. So it will be nice to for anyone. And then of course, Bhuneshwar is close by. Yes. Where you get to see the Ashokan edicts. Yeah. I think it's Odisha. The Lingaraj is very... Temple. Yeah. Yeah. Odisha is very rightly called India's best kept secret, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> that's true. But I think the secret has to be unraveled now to the world to watch, experience Odisha.